Hey guys, this is Chris from Empire Bricks and welcome to Building Jedi Part 6. After 5 episodes, we're almost there and I'm really happy with the, the progress that I've made. I've made some really decent progress, I'm going to show you guys. But first, I want to really thank you for 75 subscribers. I just hit it today and the support is really overwhelming. I have a, a ton of comments on the Jedi series. And I would like to thank you guys for that. It's it's really amazing. That's why I do it for. And um, yeah, keep it up. Keep keep commenting, uh, giving suggestions and stuff like that. I read them all. I try to answer them all. So please keep doing that. So now get let's get into Jeddah. Um, last time I had one quarter of the the rock that the city is built upon was still open. Um, that is all closed now. So basically everything from the bottom up is finished. I have made some really decent pros progress on the, the city on top. And as you can see, I have started with the Temple of Kyber. And to be truly honest, I could have done a little bit more. But then there would have been a really, really small difference with the, this episode and the finale. Uh, because next time it's going to be finished, that's for sure. So I held back a little so I can show you guys what I did now. And then as soon as I make this movie I can start again and order a little bit more pieces because there's a little bit of stuff missing it's some, a little bit annoying but um, from some pieces I'm missing like four or, or six so small amounts but I still need them um, but yeah I'm going to show you guys what I've been doing the last couple of days so first of all compared to last time this part was um, well missing or incomplete for the most part so the entire um, rock formation that the city is built upon is now finished, as you can see. Um, also, this is finished as well. It was last time, but I added a little bit of those uh, plates on top. Um, in previous episodes, I asked you guys, maybe you have ideas what to do with the, the space around here. And maybe I would do like an oasis or something. But I decided not to do anything with this because it would distract from the city so i'm leave, leaving it like this i did add these pieces just to make it you know a little bit more random but also to hold some of the pieces in place because not all of it is attached that well so it's necessary to have some plates on top and you know keep everything where it should be so getting back to the rock on this side so this is completely finished I added these, um, yeah, sort of pillars in the wall, uh, just like in the in the movie. So that's almost finished. Um, there's one small detail that's this little corner. Um, after you know filling it up with plates and covering it up, so there's no holes anymore. I ended up with this corner like this, um, and I thought, okay, I'll just order a three by three template and you know uh, be done with it. But um, there uh, are no three by three templates, so um, I had to, you know, change the structure a little bit so I could add this piece over here. And now, if I get the pieces, I can use a two by three slow, uh, plate, and then you know, cover the corner up, and then finish this edge around the city because these pillars they go on top of here, and then there's this line of cheese slopes and larger slopes to you know make sort of a wall around the city like you can see over here so that it's not completely flat i kind of like the the look of it um yeah so uh also i have completely finished the street pattern so it's not filled in yet but the the street pattern is there um so you have kind of an idea how that will be in the finale and in front of the temple of Kyber, I made it like a double street because it's an important building. So it's like the, the large lane that, you know, leads up to the temple. Um, so leaving a little bit more open space in the middle over there. And I have been adding a little bit of, you know, uh, bricks and slopes just to have an idea where the bigger buildings will be. But finally, everything will be looking like this corner over over here. Um, although even this part is not completely finished yet, you can see some empty lots, so they still need to be filled in. Um, oh, this is the cargo ship I showed you uh, last time, but now on my channel you can find a 
small tutorial on how to build it. It's not big, but I thought because it's my own design, I would share it with you guys. Um, so next up, um, I think I mentioned it in the in the last episode. I bought a Micro Fighter Wookie gunship because basically all of the pieces are just great for building this city. So I bought another one. Um, that's not going to be in a whole video because I already opened it and uh, sorted out the pieces. But I'm going to use that to finish more of the city. Um, yeah, there is some TIE fighters flying around already. Uh, and here you can see the Temple of Kyber. Now, as you may know, this is a modular build. Uh, I don't think I haven't have really showed you that before. But because I don't, I, I can't leave it on the table like this because we have cats and they would, you know, destroy it. So it needs to be on top of a closet and to do that it has to be able to detach in some way. So let me show you guys that the entire city of Jedi is basically made out of four pieces. So these two are now attached to each other. So there's this, this plate I can show you that I can attach to the two pieces. And then it stays together a little bit more neatly. Although you'll always see this line but... I don't, know. I don't find it annoying at all. Uh, it looks great from from afar. And then these two can also detach. So you have one, two, three, four large segments. And then I was designing the Temple of Kyber. But because it's in the middle of the city, um, I had a problem. Because um, first of all, I tried to make it um, to to make it on top of this part uh, for one half and the other half on the other part and then join it together, but um, that didn't work structurally. It just looked weird because there was this line in the middle of the temple. And also, you know, the, the building wasn't that stable. So I chose to do something differently. I left open a space in the uh, street part. I made this, um, this shape of plates that just can sit here pretty loosely, but I could you know, press it down and then we'll be stuck. But um, I think I'm gonna put just, you know, single studs in the corners and then it can be placed on top of that or something something similar. Um, so I can actually remove it and then I can um, take Jet out apart if I want to. Because there is an event uh, at the end of May here in the Netherlands and I am really considering taking Jet out there. I've already have an entrance uh, form almost filled in and to do that of course I need to be able to transport Jeddah so um, yeah I, I really needed to be and stay modular so that's why I uh, made this decision so the temple's not finished yet um, you can actually see like a large gate um, and I used dark tan bricks to create something of a uh, yeah so, so, so that it looks like you can have a peek inside or maybe like a door and then there is supposed to be two uh, towers, really thin towers on top of this, but I didn't have any more bricks. So that's gonna be finished. And also the back of the temple is still open. Um, so that needs to be fixed. Um, but um, concerning Jeddah, the city and the temple, it's this corner that needs to be fixed and the edges needs need to be completely filled in then I need to finish the city that's going to be by far the biggest task because it looks really nice and random but to make it look random it's really really difficult um, and it's a lot of small pieces so it's it takes up a lot of time but um, I'm going to do my best and of course the temple itself and because this is Jeddah and as you know I was planning to hover a star destroyer above it so I actually solved that problem I was uh, thinking of, you know, just hanging it on a wire above the city or something like that. But then if I want to take it to an event, that's not an option. Um, so I ordered a lot of uh, clear 1x2 bricks like this. I created these support pillars. They are 15 bricks high. So that's how high the um, Star Destroyer will be above the city. I've actually tested this and I can already tell you that that looks freaking awesome but i'm gonna save that for the finale because um it's sort of a special moment but i can show you what i'm going to do so there's four of these i can show you over here four of these 
Um, and they will be placed, but I'm not quite sure where exactly. Um, but they're going to be placed sort of around, I, I think, three over here. So let's say one there, one here, and maybe another one over there. So quite close to each other, but the weight of the Star Destroyer, because it's like a triangle, is in the in the you know wide part of the ship so it's going to be in the back but because there's also a lot of weight in the front you just need like one of them to be sort of oh, that's upside down over here so it would look sort of like that and just imagine the star destroyer being above that um i know i i used my hands to hold it above the city in the last episode um, and that looked, you know, kind of nice, but it looks so much better when I can, you know, walk back a little and let you see the, you know, the helicopter view or the overview of the city from, from a small distance. And I only can do that when it's on top of these pillars. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. I, I've already seen it. So really stay tuned for the finale. And that that's just going to be amazing. But um, with these pillars, now you have sort of an idea how it's going to be attached. Because the, the bottom of the Star Destroyer is just played so you can... Just clip them on. Have to be a little bit careful, but that'll work. And if that's done, then I'm gonna reposition the TIE fighters because now they're sort of awkwardly all at the same height because you know I'm bound by the length of these bars. But I can also um, attach them to the Star Destroyer or the top of the temple, stuff like that. So um, still need to experiment a little bit, a little bit with that. But we're we're almost there. We're really almost there. I'm really excited. Um, I didn't actually think it would you know come this far when I started. I just thought let's give it a try. But I came much much farther than I thought. Um, just to give you guys an idea, <coughs> excuse me. Um, the Star Destroyer itself is like 1,300 pieces. Uh, I think there is at least another 3,000 in here. So that will make the total build around 5,000 pieces so that's a lot of pieces um, took me a lot of time a lot of effort but totally worth it it's looking almost exactly as what I had in mind um, and because I really want to take it to that event um, uh, yeah I'm, I'm just really happy with the total build it, it deserves to be uh, on an event which is in May so that does mean that I cannot take it apart and build something else until that time but uh, totally worth it. Um, it's going to be my first event. I'll be promoting the uh, the channel over there. I hope to be at 100 subscribers by then. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So um, I really hope you like this update. I did my best to show some decent process uh, progress, but not go too far because I do want to be able to really see a difference with the finale. I think I'll need about a week to get in all the pieces for the last episode and finish it all up maybe a little bit more like eight or nine days uh, we'll see but i will be working on it within two weeks there will be the finale video and uh, if you want to see it please uh, subscribe to the channel uh, if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you at the finale guys